Hey everybody, Akira is here. Welcome back to The Long Dark. So we're going to start a new series here. It's going to be the Whiteout series. A monster blizzard is on the way. Will you be ready when it survives? The storm arrives in 30 days. Stockpile enough food, water, and supplies in the coastal highway. Quonset Barrage before it hits. Let's get started. Astrid, that'll work. Okay, so we got 30 days to stockpile enough food, water, and supplies in the hut before the super storm lands. Alright, what time of day is it? Uh, it's, um, okay. Let me see here. Memory serves. Everything here's been looted. Occasionally you have the locked locker. I'm not sure if it's still... I'll take that can, though. Um, but we're going to get right out of here and start looting the surrounding buildings as quickly as possible. Weather looks pretty good. Negative 11 degrees Celsius. A little bit nippy. Let's look both ways. There can be wolves and uh, bear in this area. But uh, I want to hit these two houses over here. They're kind of, in this particular area, they're sort of the most dangerous houses to get to because there's just blind hill here. But luckily, the uh, yeah, there's a lot of wolves out on the lake right now. I see four of them right now. Sort of in a diamond formation. All right, so let's head on in here. Island, and let's start looting. I don't have any, uh, any way to. Pretty sure I don't have any lantern or anything. Yeah, uh, they gave me six matches, so I can't really use that to stay looting after dark unless I make myself a torch, which I guess is a possibility. But uh, the goal is to find a lantern as quickly as possible. So loot through here as quickly as I can. Got a some. Accelerant there. Get lots of food. And uh, once we make it back, I'll show you a list of uh, everything that I need to collect. I don't think I need simple tools, but uh, I'll grab it anyway. Grab that water. See, oh, there's some stump remover. Pretty sure I don't need that, but uh, I'll take it. And then we'll just make a series of uh, loot runs back and forth. I got some mittens. We'll take that, of course. Any matches? Sometimes they hide matches around here. I don't see any. One piece of wood. Any? Nope. Oh, there's a newspaper roll. We can break that down for tinder. We'll need that. Uh, I haven't searched this cabinet. Let's go and search that one. Some lantern fuel. That's good. We will need a certain amount of lantern fuel as well. Stockpiled. All right. Let's head over here. Nothing there. Okay. Well, there will be a new Project Zomboid series coming here soon. It's going to be, uh, I'm going to up the difficulty with uh, some mods and uh, change the loot table so that it's like uh, insanely rare loot. Should make it a lot more exciting and enjoyable to watch. Just the uh, killing Sean Hilton got to the point where it's more like The Sims with uh, some zombies, the occasional zombie. Um, it really wasn't much of a challenge once we got established at that firehouse, but I want to try, uh, try upping the difficulty from the get-go and uh, probably try to kill one of our other producers. Okay, so we, that, that house is gone. I think, uh, yeah, I want to try to sneak out here if I can. Yeah, it's always a good idea to check those mailboxes. But I want to get up there to that house on the hill there. This is Throps, uh Island house there. So we should be able to thread a needle between... That wolf, and that wolf and these wolves. I'm going to skip the... I'll probably hit this fishing hut right here, but I'm going to skip these over here for now until we venture off that way to look for items. So I'm hoping I can find a storm lantern here. If not here, hopefully jackrabbit. And then we'll kind of circle back through these uh, fishing huts on the way back for a uh, drop off of the loot. But uh, need to definitely make hay or in this case, make loot while the sun is shining. Because we don't have any way to loot at night. And at night, it basically, it's pitch black. You guys won't be able to see anything. I'll just be fumbling around, missing stuff. That house over there looks like it's not burned down, so that's good. Got a new set of headphones. Um, I got the uh, Sennheiser. Oh, there's some... That, oh, those are pistol rounds. I don't think we need pistol rounds. I think we need 10 rifle rounds and a rifle. But if we bump into a pistol, we can use that to stay safe. We'll grab this uh, reclaimed wood. We do need some reclaimed wood. Take that wood as well. 
whetstone. I don't think that's on the list, but we'll grab it anyway. Basically, just kind of grabbing everything for the time being. But I got some uh, Sennheiser uh, Momentum 4s. So far, I like them a lot. I had the HyperX. Um, now there's a wolf coming down the hill here. We're going to just kind of dodge him if we can. Might run over here and just loot these first. How are we doing on time? Yeah, we got lots of daylight left, so let's do that. So I'm going to bust over here. Hit these two, because it looks like there might be two. Now, there's sometimes a wolf over here as well. But uh, I give that that wolf uh, time to either reset, you know, sort of disappear, or uh, we'll come at it from a different angle. No big deal either way. We'll know if we're in wolf country here. Maybe it's just that one's burned down right there. Maybe it's just this one house. Yeah, sometimes. It, it always seems like uh, just this one house. Right, let's just run up here real quick. Before we can. We're going to be collecting sticks as well. They're different than firewood. There's the entrance. Oh, there's a, there's a house right there. We can go for that one as well. Do you want to have extra privacy and flexibility while online? Sure, we all do. NordVPN is the leader in internet privacy and allows added flexibility by routing your internet traffic through any of their over 5,400 servers in 60 countries through an extremely intuitive and efficient user interface. In addition, you can access specialty servers for added security such as DoubleVPN, Onion Over VPN, or P2P VPN servers. But for a casual user like myself, I personally use their proprietary NordLynx protocol for maximum speed. But wait, there's more, such as Kill Switch to automatically turn off your internet if the connection to the VPN server is lost. Or how about this, Split Tunneling, which only routes certain application traffic to the NordVPN server. There are so many other useful features to explore, and if you are interested, use the link nordvpn.com forward slash accurize2 and the promo code ACT2 for additional savings. Link in the description below. So we're going to need a certain amount of sticks. I think it's 50, and then we're going to also need some actual firewood, the real stuff, you know? Cedar, cedar limbs and things like that. Uh, there's some more lantern fuel. That's good. But once we find the jerry can, it's going to help out a lot. So the goal here is to find ourselves a storm lantern. That will definitely help us a lot. Yeah, we'll take that. Now we're going to be stinky as we run around everywhere. But that's okay. There's, I see a can right there. That's a sneaky little spot for one right there. We've got some more matches. I mean, if we can't get a storm lantern, at least we're getting matches. And honestly, I'm not too pressed about where we're going to be laying our head. If more lantern, oh, no, this pinnacle peach. I thought that was a little more lantern fuel. Okay. So far, not too bad. Not much clothing yet. Okay. Maybe we'll find something upstairs. Ooh, ooh! They just threw that in there just to make a liar out of me right there. But that is it. That is some decent clothing. That is some decent clothing. Uh, parka worn by people who know what they're doing. How are you? Unlike people who loot the same place over and over again, like me. Well, that Parker's going to feel nice, that's for sure. Come on. Okay. We're going to be collecting things that we can rip up into tinder plugs, too. I think we need about 10 or 15 of those or something like that. Maybe it's 15. I think it's 15. This stuff will come in handy. I'm going to leave that book behind. It doesn't do any good for us. Uh, we're going to throw that shirt on, though. That was just a t-shirt. It basically has no real value, but we'll take it anyway. This type of house pretty good to find clothes in because all these drawers upstairs, these clothing drawers. And it's already up there. There we go. We'll take the ragged work pants. If we find a uh, sewing kit, we'll be able to do some repairs. Um, those are leather shoes. Uh, I'll take those just for the leather um, in case we find some nice gauntlets or something like that. We can always tear down stuff at night. We just can't repair without light. If we have light, then we're okay. So I'll take all this water, because we do need a certain amount of water as well. Stop here real quick and show you guys the list. 
I don't want to take too much time looking at it, but right there, if you guys want to pause it. So main things that are going to be gold are rifle, rifle cartridges, uh, hatchet lantern, um, lamp oil, everything else is going to be pretty easy to come by. So, all right, let's head on over to that other house. How are we doing on weight? We should be just fine with weight. Oh yeah, we're good. We still got another six kilograms space and that's carrying out a lot of water so let's uh let's make a run for it check this mailbox real quick sometimes there's ammunition like a single bullet <laughs> in these and you get lucky but not today in we go okay let's see here what do we got hope nobody needs this down the best. i already have one of those a new light shell Print uh, fire log, sure. Just paper roll. It'll take us long to get overweight. Uh, this loot table appears to be like a Voyager or Pilgrim or something like that. There's a lot of loot that we're running into. It's definitely not. Uh, it's not lacking. This Some matches. Handy. Okay, I'll take that. Nothing in there. Come on, man. Where's that storm lantern? somewhere all right i don't want to like half loot a room because then i'll come back in and i'll miss a whole section of cabinets or something even though i wanted to run into the next room and immediately just check for a storm lantern gonna be something in one of these like oh wow oh maybe this one there it is coho salmon huh that put us overweight Mittens, some newsprint, okay. So we're overweight now, but that's okay. It's a good problem to have when you're trying to gather as much loot as possible. And I'm just picking up everything at this point, trying to move quickly. I if I can drop any of this gear. Oh, you'll be all right. You'll be just fine. Wow. Lots of junky clothes. <laughs> More junky clothes. Yeah, I'll take that. I think I need that shirt, though. Let's throw on that scarf, though, while we're here. And I'll do a quick check here. Throw on those pants. See if they're, they're kind of meh, you know? Uh, which one's better? That one's better for now. That one's in bad shape. That's a dress shirt, so I don't think it's going to matter anyway. We'll find something better than that. Uh, put on some mittens. Which one's the best? Uh, those are pretty good. Are Those Those are wool mittens. Oh, okay. Those are uh, fleece. Uh, these are wool so these are definitely going to be the best ones. Put those on. We got some extra socks. I know we do. All right. There we go. Throw those on. And <laughs> we got a nice selection of horrible shoes. So I guess we'll just keep what we got. They're brand new. What the heck? Ah, dead guy. I don't think I've ever seen a dead guy here before. Wow. He looks different, too. That's a different. Ah, nice. Okay, we'll take that. And we're going to weigh ourselves down with even more water. We're going to be waterlogged. Um, yeah, it's interesting. That's that's a different, different dead person than what I'm used to. We're going to leave those sports socks, though. I'm not going to bother anymore with those. Got lots of uh, lighter fluid. Okay. Let's see if we can get up to misanthropes without, you know, getting chewed on too much by this wolf that was on the hill. All right. Alright, well, we're going to go for the cabin right in front of us. I'm going to kind of drift this way in case we get barked at. Go straight in that green door. Because there's a lot of little bumps and things at this little blind uh, bunny hills here that Wolf can be hiding at. No, I don't think he's... He didn't spawn him in here, it doesn't look like. So... What I'll do is I'll probably just work my way up the 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 back of the hill here. There's also a, a bear cave here, so I need to make sure the bear isn't there. And I'm gonna check on this. I want to see this wolf status if he's 
he's still wandering around or not, or if it looks like he's gone. Because, uh, can we run? Yeah, we can run. We, we're not that way down quite yet. Oh, we're only five over. That's not too bad. That's not too shabby. Okay. So far it's looking decent, but it could be up there just where I can't see him. Alright, I want to go for it. I think that's the same wolf right there. Maybe. Maybe not. It looks like he's patrolling really far out, if that's him. If it is, he's... Nope, he's turning around, so that would be a different one. Okay. Well, if he's on the back side of this hill, we're going to come face to face with him. We're just going to have to outrun him. Then he'll just have to follow us in. There's a backpack down there. I'm not going to mess with it right now. I want to get up to where I'm not at a sprain risk. I think I'm just going to run for it. I got the stinky food and all that. So let's go. Not worry about picking up sticks or anything at this point. Lied. Okay, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Just so I rebuild build a little bit of my stamina back up here. Alright. How stinky am I? Just two stink lines, but I think I got like three three or four pieces of meat. One of them's raw, which is even stinkier. Okay. Let's get inside here. I'm not sure where he went to, but he disappeared for the time being. I mean, I'll take it. How dark is it going to be? Too dark to loot? Nah, we can do a little bit of looting. This stuff will Another come scarf. Handy. That might be better than what we have. Um, okay. Some more matches. That's good. Another sewing kit. We'll take that. Peanut butter. Stale peanut butter. We'll take it. Okay. No, food, is that by calories? Oh, it's, uh, the, yeah, it's total. It's going to be days of food, so they have a certain amount of calories per day. Whatever that equals. A go energy drink. I don't take that. So we're looking, the higher the calorie food, the better for us. I see a cooking pot here. I'll take the disinfectant because I haven't messed with any old man's beard yet. And I think I can use that. that. Some more matches, sure. Yeah. Uh, do I have any bandages? I do not. Let's go. We're gonna go. Want to go ahead and craft up some bandages tonight before we get bleed to a bleeding status, and then we're trying to rip up clothing and you know make bandages and stuff like that. That would just be not a good situation to get into when we can avoid that. Um. I guess this I'll take that. Too heavy to carry. Oh, it's too heavy. Yeah, it's, I might have to drop some of that. I'll probably have to drop some of this clothing that I picked up that's sort of redundant necessary. But, uh, alright, let's head on upstairs. What I can also do is I can also make like a drop point halfway between here and, uh, the gas station. And just kind of shuttle things back and forth a little bit. But have have what I want to take with me. We'll be tearing these up into tinder plugs. But at least we won't have to come back up to this, you know, house again. It's amazing how fast you actually weigh yourself down. When you... oh, we'll, we'll take those. We'll put those on for sure. Those socks. All right, I think we got a couple things we want to throw on here. Let me see here. This is 63, 45, 92. Yeah, that, that'll be better. Let's throw that on. Um, what was it? Wasn't it a sh nice shirt? The green one? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we'll take that. Put that on. Needs a little repair, but, but we'll take it. Okay, there's a new hoodie. A uh, new sweatshirt. Um... How's that compared to this stuff? Let's see here. So that's better than both of those. That's a 48%. That's cotton. Heavy cotton. Okay, we'll put that on. That's heavy, it says. It's not wool, but we'll, we'll take it. 
Pardon me. Ugh, hope it's not. It's not me getting sick from the whole family being sick. <laughs> Always the last one. Always the last one to get hit by the sickness, man. It's like watching a horror movie unfold and knowing you're about to experience it as soon as you walk out the theater. That's how it kind of feels. Big bucks, no whammies, come on. Needs this That's anymore. a cotton shirt, we'll leave that behind. Yeah. We'll do better. Obviously, we're going to find wool pretty much everything before we end up uh, going too deep into this. There, there's some more wool, for example. Now we're going to have double wool socks so and triple sewing kits. And we've got water here that I can't even carry. So I think what I'll do here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, tear this up. Make some bandages real quick here while I'm thinking about it. Let's uh, harvest those into some bandages. There we go. All right, let's see if we can repair some of this stuff while we're sitting around. We're still only like half tired. So let's rip up some more of these and let's see if we can get something repaired and we're just gonna we're just to stay the night here that's what we'll do let's see what we want to do what do we want to repair let's take a look at our condition of things here got a lot of things that i can probably oh you know what let's double wool socks up here here's those and then we have one more i think oh wait we got we got 80 oh we got three pairs of wool socks jeez this is an embarrassment of riches. There's 78. I think the other ones were 100. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. We're already up to a warmth bonus of plus 10 degrees Celsius and a windproof of uh, six, 6 degrees. And we don't even have really, really good shoes. And we're still missing some item overlap here. Right here. So we got this good. Nothing more there that we can do. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start dropping some of this stuff because these are these are gonna add up. So let's drop that one. Uh, you know what? Hold on. There's an easier way to do this. Uh, yeah, let's drop the things that we're carrying or not. Don't have on our head. Uh, do I want to do that or do I want to do this or this? Well, that one's definitely better. It's twenty nine percent. That's 59%, and yeah, I'm going to put this on. I'll drop these scarves. There we go. Drop these mittens. Those socks. Shoes. Vest. Socks. Vest. <laughs> Look at all this clothing that we have. These shoes are going to add up, too. Well, I guess if we need leather badly we just come back to this house but it, for a for a preparation thing where we're not trying to write it out for oh, you know 100 days or more I don't think it's going to be that critical I think we're going to run into stuff everywhere alright let's take a look here at the weight of everything so this is the heavy, heaviest that we have we're starting to get back down a little bit I could probably leave that I, I don't think I need the uh, simple tools I'm pretty sure that we don't need that let's see if it's on the list it is not on the list. So let's go ahead and drop those. Those are kind of heavy. Let's drop the stump remover. That's kind of heavy. Yeah, we're already starting to get back down to something sensible. I could drop this because it's easy to get that. You just start breaking stuff everywhere. So let's drop those wherever they want. We'll drop them again. I don't need the accelerant. Let me double check. Pretty sure we don't need accelerant. Yeah. Lantern oil is different. Or lamp oil is different than... Uh, Accelerant, so that does not matter when it comes to our numbers here. So we'll just uh, drop that a few times here as it bounces around. I'll tear these up, and I don't think we maybe we might not lose much weight from that. Um, I got a flare in case I get into some real. Oh, there's that other one that we dropped. Okay, let's drop one more of those and that one. And I don't need these cans now. Since I have the pot cooking. Yeah, we're starting to get our weight back down. Somewhere decent. Honestly, I'm not gonna need I'm not gonna need this many of these. You know? So we'll just uh we'll just take one. 
That'll be fine. Um, probably won't need a whetstone. I'll keep it until we see what condition our knife is in. And we find one or hatchet. I'm not going to be doing any fishing. fishing. So let's do that. And uh, let's see if we can do any repairs. Quick. I should have probably done the repairs first. But oh well. Let's uh, organize by condition. These pants. Repair. How long does it take? 30 minutes. We should be able to get that done. So let's go ahead and repair these pants up. Probably find better pants than this tomorrow. <laughs> but at least these are, won't be ripped off of us if, it, if we get attacked by a wolf. Yeah, we can repair this as well. Maybe. If we get it done. Let's see. Maybe we will. As long as we have a little bit of sunlight still showing. Okay, we got it done. Good. Oh, no. Dude, don't do that. Don't do that. Did I use one? Nope. I don't think it used a cloth. Okay, I think because I interrupted it. Okay. Everything else is pretty decent. We will get these thermal underbrush repaired. Maybe not, because they're cotton. Um, might just wait and find wool somewhere because I'm pretty certain certain we will find some wool. I'm going to drink a little bit of this water. And then I think from here we're actually going to need to do a drop off because going to the next one isn't going to matter if we can't collect anything worthwhile. So we're going to head back to the gas station in the morning. Uh, we should have plenty of food on board. 737. We're really close. Really close. Um, and I don't want to use any food to get the uh, well fed bonus right now because um, yeah, we'll do we'll do nine hours because I want to try to get as much food as I need to satisfy the requirement. Once we do that, then I'll go ahead and start eating like crazy and get the well-fed bonus if it comes to that. So, okay, get another drink here. I'll let myself starve all day today. No problem there. God, I'd eat anything right about now. I bet you would, but. I hate to have some bad news for you. Let's see here, let's do the bed. Let's just uh, rest for, I don't know, what, about four hours probably? Hopefully we get some good weather to run around in. All right, let's, let's fumble our way downstairs here. Probably a little dark on your screen. I can see uh, maybe a little bit, a little bit better maybe. Take a look outside, see what we got. Okay, this is this is fine. Yeah, got some stinky food, so we need to be aware of that and uh, be careful. There's a wolf right there between those two trees. I don't know if you can see him, but yeah, right there at our, our at our feet. So I'm gonna go down this way, sort of hop my way down the hill this way. Might hit that. Um, I might hit that uh, that fishing hut on the way back. Just for good measure, hopefully we'll find a hatchet in there or something we can use for self-defense. Alright, can we make it down this way? I think we can. We're careful. Oh. Ow! That hurt. <laughs> Tore my clothes. But that's okay. Sprained wrist. Alright, we'll uh, deal with that here in a second. I'll just wrap it. It really doesn't matter. I guess maybe if we get into a fight with a wolf, it might uh, cause you to have a little more difficult time fighting it off of you, especially being unarmed. So we'll get into this hunt here and treat the injury. See it blurs the edge of the screen there a little bit with the pain. Alright, let's head on in here. Hopefully we get lucky find something worthwhile. Anything in here? bullet. So that's one. One out of the ten that we need. Yeah, I don't need that. We'll leave that here. Don't need that either. No knives. Wonderful. Okay, so let's just kind of strike out some mittens that we don't need. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, treat this real quick. Yeah, let's do this. And then we're gonna... I want to get moving before this blizzard sets in because we got a little bit of Blizzard to deal with here. I'm going to take some pain meds because I'm sure we're going to find way more. Should be good now. Yeah, sprain risk. That's fine. Alright, let's head this way around the wolves and then I'll head into town using the road. Probably hit this uh, fishing hut since I'm skirting wide around here. Real quick. 
wins at her back, so that's nice at least. Yeah, it's almost. The sun's almost about to poke up here. And it's still almost. I've seen brighter nights um, before, so. Should be interesting to see what happens with the weather. And well, we got ourselves a knife, so that's good. At least we can do some. deal out some damage there when we're dealing with these wolves. Cloth, I'll take that, I guess. Okay, so we're going to one sure, I guess. Uh, mountain rope. No, I don't need that. I really don't want that at all. Okay, and some more mittens. <laughs> there are mittens everywhere. People just leaving their mittens right by their fishing holes. I can't feel my feet. Uh, negative 29 degrees Celsius. I'd say so. That's, that's, that's a cold day. It's a chilly day. Today it was, woke up as 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And then uh, I think it got up to about 28 or so. So it was a bit, uh, a bit chilly here as well. But had my house, uh, had somebody come out. We've had some blackouts lately because uh, of where we live. There's a Apparently the I'm freezing. It's kind of unreliable. We had two Thursdays in a row we had blackouts for about four or five hours and it's not uncommon to have three, four, even five in a in a year where I'm at. So I had a guy come out for a like a whole house generator estimation and uh I'm gonna get a couple more quotes. But uh yeah, probably gonna end up doing that. The problem is, where we live, the lines that supply this area and the substation or whatever um, go through a really rural area and then it crosses a, a river and in the middle of the river there's an island, a small island, that is, uh, has a lot of uh, trees and uh, they have to, they, it keeps, they keep breaking there during these windstorms and uh, then the line crews have to go out there. They have to go up into that island area and they have to uh, walk in about a mile with their equipment because their vehicles can't get there. And then if the river, if there's rain associated with a storm, a lot of times the rain uh, causes the river to overflow and then they can't actually make it to the island to do the work. So then they have to wait for that. So it's a really bad situa situation because, I mean, a lot of the houses around our area still have lights on. Which is like a 250 house group here that, that don't. Um, and for whatever reason, they, they haven't like built a, a, a line that along the other routes, you know, to uh, come in here. So, like as a redundant, you know, sort of fail safe. So, I'm going to do it ourselves. Yeah our own electricity. So I'm trying to search around here for the, for the locker. Uh, which one's the one that has all our stuff? Okay. It's got to be the right locker, right? I kind of want to drop everything, but I want to put it in the right locker. Alright, I guess I'll just lay down here for now. As soon as I find a bed. There's the bed. Okay. Uh, okay, let's just lay down and rest for about two hours. See what happens. Should get some light eventually. There we go. Now I can at least see what I'm doing. What was I bumping into? Oh, I was hitting those two. Hmm. Why does that require a pry bar? It doesn't it doesn't say locked. That's weird. Okay. That's curious. Searched. Open lock. That's weird. Normally, if it requires a pry bar, there's a lock symbol on it. So, let's see. Normally, if there's a... Like that. Okay. That's really weird. Oh, well. I'm assuming that this is supposed to have that, but that looks like there's some sort of error there. So, let's offload here and see what all we got. Um, we'll just do it a little bit at a time here. And we'll throw some sticks in there. 
matches, yeah, there were probably a few packs of those in there. Uh, I'm gonna tear those up into tinder plugs. What else we got? The go energy, that probably counts as food, but I'm gonna keep it there for now, in case we need a burst of energy. Yeah, I'm wearing all of this, which is good. Really need some new shoes. Badly. And we'll throw this in here. Yeah, this condensed milk are gonna be great. Um, some coffee, I'll keep that with me and probably keep the tea with me. Some traveling food in case I get it hurt, but I can't see that being too big of an issue here. Look at all this food. One day of... This is crazy. One day of uh, scavenging. Okay, I'm just curious where we're at with uh, all this. Let's transfer all that over. Oops, I need to put all my water in there. Let's take a... Uh, uh, we need a little more than that. Let's take that. Oh, I did that wrong. <laughs> I did that the wrong way around. Let's try this again. Here we go. Transfer. Ah, I did it again. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm such a moron. I keep thinking I have it in my own inventory. Yeah, let's just... There. Transfer that over. That's what I want. Goodness gracious. All right. I'm thinking ahead to how much I'm trying to like calculate calories in my mind and I'm not even thinking about um oh so we're almost halfway there when it comes to food hardwood softwood okay reclaimed wood that's gonna be easy 50 sticks yeah 25 tinder 10 bandages matches were there we got enough matches so that's good uh we need a rifle rifle cartridges hatchet lantern land lamp oil potable water um we can just cook like crazy water once we get the uh wood set up we'll We'll start uh, just getting a bunch of wood and cooking water if we have to. Until now, it's, it'll just be all toilets, so. All right, well, it doesn't sound like it's too bad outside now, so. Um, let's see here. Where do I wanna go? I think I wanna go to this house back here. S stay close here, since the weather seems to be a little unpredictable today. It seems like those, those clouds are moving pretty quick and they make me a little nervous. We got a few houses here we can search anyway, so there's another flare, a couple flares. That'll be good um, until we get a better way to actually preemptively fight back like a firearm of some kind. This will come in handy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if you say so. I guess it's okay. Check here for bullets. Nothing. And I'll tear up the... Uh, tear up the newspapers tonight when it's dark. Oh, Looking for lucky things day. to do. More food. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be in pretty good shape. These houses are really open now. We might have enough food by the end of the day today if I can hit enough houses uh, fast enough in this area. Because there's probably going to be about four or five more houses to hit here. Maybe. Oh. Right in this immediate area. Searched the fridge yet? And I see a bottle of water there. I'll take that. Not even what thirty, sure, thirty-seven minutes or so in the game. Yeah, we're doing we're doing good. Wait, there's this something back there. Nope. Eyes playing tricks on me. Oh, we also got a new puppy. So, uh, French French bulldog pup. And uh, our German Shepherd is... I don't know why I keep picking that up, because I end up dropping it anyway. <laughs> I'm like, I don't need that. Um, I guess it's this habit on the first few days to grab everything I think that I pops up that. on the screen. Let's see here. Thin wool sweater. I don't think it's going to be better than what we have. I can't remember exactly what we have. I think it might be. But our German Shepherd's playing really nice with them. He's doing pretty good as far as this going out, in handy. potty training, and all that stuff. He's uh, three and a half months old. So he's small. And his name is Mac. So we have Mia and Mac. Alright. Socks, toilet. We'll take all that, please. Might be close with the water, actually, if we can't keep hitting all these toilets like this. Okay. Alright, that looks good. And grab that flare. I should probably have a flare out while I'm running around like this, actually. Just for safety. 
Okay, there we go. Let's see, there's mailboxes there, but I think I'm gonna just head over to this. Very patriotic. Oh, there he is. He's right there. Oh, it's a bear. <laughs> there's a bear over there. Let's see if he's gone by the time we pop out here. I don't know if he will be or not, but we'll figure it out. He's not gonna hurt us, don't worry. If he does, that's okay. We'll just patch ourselves up and move on. You know, he'll rip apart the clothing that we so happily gathered thus far, but uh, I'm trying to think what else. Everybody's sick in the world, it seems like. Ooh, was that moldy? That kind of looked moldy. It's okay. It still counts. It's calories. All family's sick. I'm going to be sick. I know it. In a few days. I always get, I always get to see the horrors, but um, so that'd be fun. Watching everyone puke. I'll take it. Knowing that's what's in store for me. I'm leaving behind a lot of the stuff, <clears throat> like those sports socks and, you know, anything else that I run across that seems really redundant. I don't know if his pants are better than the ones I'm already wearing. No, they're not. Uh, what about those jeans, though? They will be better than those jeans. I'll throw those on as well. We'll drop those. Okay, what about this? That's a new sweatshirt. That's heavy cotton. It's not going to be... That's thin wool, and this is uh, heavy insulated wool, so we get rid of that one, and uh, that's a 92. What about this one? Oh, they're both 92. That's what threw my brain for a loop there. Okay, we'll drop those. Those are great. Still need better shoes. Don't have any accessories yet. Light shell. We got some better table. Nobody needs I'll this take the anymore. bandage. I'll take the amoxicillin. I don't need any more. I don't need any more uh, disinfectant. It's heavy. I'll, I'll leave that behind. We'll grab some more water here. Okay. I think we've pretty much looted this place. Uh, let's see if old Barry Poo's still out there. Now at least. All right, I'll take, I'll take yes for an answer. Let's head back here and drop off everything we got. I don't think we have that much. There it is. Okay. Well, it fixed itself. So, who who knows what happened? I don't think we need to put this in here, but it's sort of where I'm storing everything, so that's what's going to happen. I'll keep that until I get some old man's beard going. You know what, I kind of liked it better when we did it this way. I know we have enough matches, but I'm just going to keep throwing them in here. That all looks good. Been watching a lot of Viva La Dirt League uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Where they're playing the tabletop Dungeons and Dragons and then acting out some of the key, key parts. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. And they're still going. It's been They've been doing this series for like two years. And it's, uh, yeah, it's good. It's, it's hilarious. Um, I guess we'll put that in there for now. Maybe tear it down for leather. Yeah, I think they're up to like 120, 130 episodes, somewhere around there. Okay, we're, we filled up an entire locker with loot, so let's move over here. Let's see what we got in here. And the ominous music usually indicates some sort of weather change. So, probably have some weather, some bad weather moving. So we got, still have plenty of matches. Getting close with the food. Reclaimed wood sticks, yeah. Uh, potable water, that's gonna be one that we're gonna need to just 
We're just gonna need to have a, a, a cooking sesh, you know? And go, go bonkers with a bunch of campfires all at the same time or something like that. I saw a house over here to the right. There it is. We'll try to make it there without getting eaten by, eaten by a bear. I heard him. Where's he? Or is that a creek? I think it was something creaky. I think it was metal creaky. Oh yeah, I need to be picking up sticks. I forgot about that. I need like 50 sticks or something like that. So, I'm 10% of the way there. <laughs> alright, alright. It's going to be an easy one, I imagine. Especially if a storm rolls, rolls through, they'll repopulate the stick population around here. Alright, let's see what's in here. I see some fishing nets out there. I'm hoping to get some fish out of the oven. Alright, is there a storm lantern somewhere? I'll take another cooking pot for our water cooking session. Coming handy. Stop. Stop. Okay, that was a weird. That was a weird loot mechanic there. See no. I, mean, I, I mean, I took it, but I just. I don't know what I was hoping for out of a microwave, honestly. Something better, but it's, it's always coffee or tea. Nobody needs this anymore. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'll take all of it. Even the moldy cooked venison. Okay. Come on, give me a give me a lantern. Give me a lantern. I got some more firewood. That little, there's like a little thing here, and I keep thinking it's a bullet at first every time I glance by. Right here. This little thing right there. This will come in uh, handy. Yeah, we'll throw that on. Windbreaker, no, we're good. I don't think we need a windbreaker. Maybe it's better than a light shell. Maybe. Okay, I'll grab it and check. Let's do a quick check here. see here. Which hat, hat is better? That's 91. That's throw on the 93. Drop the 68. -er. There we go. Is she getting tired already? How are we doing on weight? We're getting close. She's starting to get tired, so that'll creep down and sort of pinch us from the top down there. Uh, Alright, is that it there? I think so. Alright, let's find the, the better. I guess I'll take another one of those. <laughs> I already have I already dropped a few, but I guess we two's okay to have, I guess. A ragged dress shirt. I'm gonna leave that behind. What's this? Oh look, more leather shoes, which I don't need. Don't need that. A bunch of fancy lads around here, aren't there? I need my I need this to be like a blue collar town. You think so being a fishing village? They have all kinds of cold weather gear just everywhere, right? I'll leave that behind. Grab that water. Make it look. Sports socks. Who cares? Now this house is kind of blah. Like, really blah. Some cloth. Some toilet water. What else? What else? What else you got? What else you got for me? Nothing? Okay. Alright, well, let's... Head on back and do another loot loot dump here. I swear I was hearing like footsteps. I think it was just a flag flapping around. I think. Sure. Maybe. Of course not. Of course not. Let's check out these cars real quick here. Flare, we'll take that. Uh, I guess if I do a cooking session, I could probably 
use those recycle cans, but I think we're going to get a lot of water super fast if we have two, two pots boiling at the same time. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay. There. Okay. But maybe, again, maybe it won't matter. Uh, so we can just bust these pallets up and get tons of uh, wood from them. We just need, obviously, we just need the hatchet first. So, otherwise it's going to be a slow road to... Well, this stuff will come in handy. I'm going to leave those behind. I'll take that bandage, though. I think I'm good on bandages. I think I have about four of them now, which should is almost overkill at that point. Search this trunk. Okay. And uh, I already checked the truck, I do believe, didn't I? Yeah, I need to check the trunk. I don't think I checked the car. Oh, yeah, that one's, that one's filled. With Look at all these pallets back here. Like, once you get a hatchet, it shouldn't be a problem at all to get enough uh, reclaimed wood. There should be one right behind the counter. It's like laying on the ground. All right. I don't see. Yeah, there's no loot laying around here. Oh, it did it again. That's what threw me off. Okay, let's uh, switch this up. Again, no, I don't need all those matches. Leave these sticks behind. What am I carrying? Uh, that looks good. 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 I'm trying to make good choices. And we're going to drop a lot of this water again. Not going to make the same mistake I did last time. There we go. Finally. Finally. I'm going to leave these behind because I don't need those. I really don't need four flares. Don't need this lantern fuel. Don't really need a marine flare. They're the same weight, so I'll just keep it. Um, shouldn't matter. I'll uh, keep those in case I come across one of those and I need that, those in a pinch. Only one sewing kit. I'll leave that behind. Um, yeah, should be good there. Just in case we need to make a repair on the run due to get an attack, an attack or something. Okay, so it's midday. Six degrees inside. And we're ready to go on another run, but she's starting to get tired, so we need to take that into consideration. So, let me think. Where do we want to go? Hmm. I guess we could make a trip out to Jackrabbit Island and plan on staying the night there. So, yeah, let's do that. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, finish. Oh, I hope it's not the sickness. Hope I'm not getting down with the sickness. <clears throat> Feel fine, though. Not nauseous or anything. Body's just doing weird stuff. How, how foggy is this? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we can make it. Should be able to make it. Did I check this house already? I don't think I checked this house. I should forget about this one. Get the one back there, but then I forget about this one. Well, let's check this house and see what happens with the weather. Maybe it'll clear up. Maybe it'll get really bad, and we'll just be like, nah, you know what? Let's just hang here for the day. I'll take it. Yeah, we'll take that for sure. Because it was the visibility was definitely dropping quick there. Yeah, we'll take another one of those. I think we have enough for the tinder that we need. Okay, right there. find a lot of food here we just want to run right back immediately probably end up just holding up here for the for the duration of this storm that's coming in I have a feeling it's going to get worse we're definitely due uh, I already have one of those I think I'm going to grab one just in case Really perfect, like moldy, but okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. Still no storm lanterns. Ugh, oh, that's killing me. Hopefully we get some good clothing upgrades here. Jeans, no thank you. Nope. People did not know how to dress for winter. That's probably what happened. That's probably what killed the town. There was it wasn't the uh, the solar flare that killed them. It, you know, it's this complete collapse of civilization. Ooh, 
We're gonna fix those up though. Those are nice. Cool long johns. It was their uh, mental preparation for their first winter and they all froze to death. Oh, Alright, well. What we got here? Anything, anything worthwhile? Just give me something. I mean, the, the long johns were pretty good. I shouldn't be too, too ungrateful. That, that was a pretty good time. And we got some more water, of course. Well, let's throw on those long johns. Uh, we even had a completely wide open slot there, so that's even better. Now we're up to two, plus 12 Celsius for warmth and plus 6 for windproof. So yeah, not too bad. Not too bad, we're getting there. Is she wearing her... Oh, I thought she had the uh, the vest on because it's the same sort of color. I, I missed the, the arms right at the very last second before I escaped off of that screen. I saw that and I was like, wait a minute. Don't tell me I'm still wearing a vest when I got this parka. That I should be wearing. Okay, it looks like things are lifting a little bit. Oh, wait. 20. Let's run this back. Real quick. Since it's right here, right? We can drop about 8 ki kilograms. I think that was our traveling weight, was about 12 when we set off. So we should be able to lose about 8. And we'll be ready to set off in the minute here. Oh, that's the one. There we go. Okay. Looks good. Things fine there. Stuff. Ah, I'm having issues with transferring water today. There we go. I think I already have one of these. I want to keep that with me in case I want to eat some food. That way, I don't lose any other food. Four cloth. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, so the well, problem here is you can only put one pot on that fire barrel, so we'll need to start a fire outside probably. Unless there's another fire barrel. Nope, that's not fire barrel. Yeah, need to do that. Or we can maybe find a cooking, a, like a stove in one of these houses. All right, let's make it over there before the end of the episode. I'm looking at the clock. I'm seeing it's like 56 minutes in, so... I thought I heard footsteps. I think they were mine. Yeah. It's weird because it after you stop, you still get you still get the sound of footsteps. So it makes you think there's something else around. Just like your instinct kicks in completely, you know. All right, let's head on over here to this. Uh, Hut over here first and then head straight over that way towards the island because I need to get around this wolf anyhow. So, no problem. It might not be bad to hit the fishing village either, but then there's this, also this little weird pier uh, system right here. It's sort of like a weird dock system that they have. Snow stopping, and uh, it's getting warmer. But that's just because the fog's starting to set in, and uh, it's only midday. How many days do we have left? Oh, we still got 29 days, 46 minutes to get all the items we need. I think we're doing pretty well. I think we're got pretty good jumping things. Is this one already? Yeah, I already checked this one. Okay. All right, well, it's okay. So right there's. And throw it. We're gonna head straight over this way. Head over here to Jackrabbit Island. I think I'll check this fishing hut over here if if opportunity 
presents itself, and then that one over there to the left. So the one in front of me, and then the one on the left. And hopefully, I get a hatchet in one of these. I think there's a, probably a better. I mean, I did find the, the knife in a fishing boat, so that was good. So hopefully, I get lucky and find a hatchet in one of these. Really need to clean the screen off. Uh, what the heck is that? What the heck is that? Oh, it's a deer. It was facing away from me. The way it was, like, quartered facing away from me, it looked weird. It almost looked like a supersized dire wolf or something like that. And I was like, what in the heck is that? I'm about to get eaten by... I mean, they're adding new bodies to the game. Did they add a new, uh... Is this, is this where I finally meet the cougar? And, and the cougar's like, um, you know, eight times the size it should be? Oh, we got ourselves... That's the first tinder plug that we found. That's kind of odd. Huh. Interesting. Well, I mean, I'll take it. Yeah. This will come in handy. I'll take that as well. And I do have to remember that I got the, uh, the flares to use, so don't be too afraid of having to run around wolves. Always use the flares. Okay, so there's an island that we're going to be going for. Actually, you know what? I guess I could go. Yeah, we'll, we'll head over to this one first. This one's kind of out of the way. I don't think we'll ever come back all the way out here just for this fishing hut. Once we loot these two islands. The cabin's on these two islands, so... Might as well take advantage of it now while we can. It'll be definitely really interesting when they add cougars. I hope they kind of just put them everywhere, like on all the islands. Like it's a whole new beast that you have to like move and chuck and jive around to get to safety, and you have to constantly be like looking behind you because you know they they love to stock up behind you. I want to be able to like fashion fake eyes on the backs of my hats, <laughs> on the outside of my hats, to make it look like I'm watching them. Throw them off. Right. Come on, baby. Come on. Hatch it, please. Hatch it. Okay. Yeah, they got some stuff in here, but I haven't seen it yet. So we're going to take the reclaimed wood and cedar wood and all this. I don't think I've ever seen it. almost anything about now. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, I think we got enough for tinder plugs. I can always make my own out of just sticks. And uh, even though I need to be collecting sticks, there's just so many of them, it's not a problem. So, I think I'm good. I'm going to start leaving those newsprints behind. Okay. Well, that was a that was a bust. A lot of stuff in that one, though. Definitely wasn't bare bones. Oh, we're going over in this episode. That's okay. I'll try to keep less than an hour, but... We're spilling over, so I hope you guys are enjoying the episode. Uh, it's a fun little adventure. Now, what would be fun is if you could change the loot table for this and make it. Uh, it should be the rabbit's hop right out here. Make it uh, like ultra rare loot. Yeah, we got something we can beach comb here for. Uh, I don't need any of that really. Shoes and. That washed up on the beach. Not worth risking running out there and grabbing it and getting back. Uh, I'm gonna make a blue dressing. That is such a weird hitbox for those. I wish they'd fix that. Sometimes they're just so hard to get, you know? It's like, why bother? Dude, I'm gonna faint. Yeah, I gotcha. Oh, there's two of them on here. Okay. We need three per wound dressing, so... Now we have two wound dressings. I'll, I'll ditch the, uh... I'll ditch the, uh... Heavy disinfectant. It's like half a kilo. So the wound dressings are, uh, old man beard wound dressings are so much weight efficient. You guys want to see what that is? There you go. Put it in a box. Okay.
I think mine would be like a Stig reference. But it would be like a the Long Dark reference as well. Some say he can take down a moose with a single revolver shot. He's the survival Stig. All right. Oh, rifle, <laughs> rifle, a rifle round. It's weird that the loot is so abundant and I haven't found like a box of ammo yet. Yeah, we'll get there, but ski jacket, that might be better than what we have. Okay. Dude, I'm not gonna completely loot this place, but I'm gonna take a quick look around here just for the, uh, just for the lantern or anything else that's awesome. Oh, that's new. They added a suitcase to this place. And they put junk in it. Okay. Well, I don't see it. Alright, guys. Well, I'll end this episode here. We can jump out, jump back in just to save it with what we've picked up. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. You all take care.